up YouTube? Welcome back. If you didn't check out the last video on this 22 Denali Duramax, uh, go check that out. We installed the Banks Derringer, the Pedal Monster with the iDash, and man, was it amazing. Today, we're gonna jump right back in and install this Banks Ram Air Intake on this 22 GMC Denali Duramax with the L5P 6.6 liter engine. I do ask for one thing, just to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out a small YouTube channel like mine grow. First, let's jump into a short unboxing of the Banks Ram Air Intake. Got the intake housing slash box that your air filter will sit down in. Um, I believe on this, the air filter connects to the lid. And then we have the intake with all the grommets and clamps that you'll need to attach it to the engine's intake. Um, and then we have the box for the air filter element. Sweet, man. Looks pretty straightforward. They even throw in a cool little license plate cover. Um, I don't see any instructions. It's probably gonna be similar to the Derringer where they're mobile instructions. And you just scan a QR code and follow them step by step. Let's check out this air filter. Wow, look at that thing. That is massive. That's what I always love about Banks is they have just huge air filters with their intakes. It just allows for so much more airflow and hopefully noise. All right, that's everything. Like I said, still don't see instructions. I'm assuming they're inside here somewhere with the uh, QR code to scan. Let's open this up. It for the box, clamps, and some bolts with, like I said, uh, there's like a, probably a QR code to scan for instructions. So it's like in this little rubber seal that goes on the lid. They did change this a little bit from other. Oh, look at that. It's like a Banks. Wow, that's cool. It's Banks Mass Air Control Module. Interesting, I wonder if they're actually like helping some of the parameters. Maybe give you a little extra power. It's nice. That is super nice. Goes down onto the throttle, onto the intake manifold to the lid like that. We'll be transferring the mass airflow sensor in to the new. And I think it's gonna sit something like that. Man, that's beefy. I like it. Right here is what Banks recommends you have for this install. A flathead screwdriver, um, a ratchet, or I'm gonna use an impact a little bit faster, um, an extension, a 13 millimeter socket, and a 10 millimeter socket, and then last but not least, a T20 Torx. This is probably to get the mass airflow sensor out of the factory intake. Um, if you have any questions, obviously the instructions are really clear and they give you a list of what you're gonna need. All right, let's get this intake off. All right, guys, that was super simple just to get the factory intake off. Um, just flowing through the instructions. Next up, we're gonna take this mass airflow sensor off um, and then we will swap it to the bank's lid for the new location where the, fact, where the mass airflow sensor will go. All right, let's keep going.
Okay, now it has us transferring some of the factory grommets off the stock box to the new Banks airbox. Um, I'm just gonna keep time lapsing this because it's just tedious and you're just popping grommets out and so on. And then we will start putting the new seals on the new box. Just keep following along. All right, we got the grommet. Um, it's really cool, it utilizes the factory. I don't know if you can see that, but it's inside right here. Factory mount on the body, and then you use the two other grommets that sit on a tray. And then they supply you with a new um, seal that seals to the, the hood Ram Air. So it's awesome. Let's get this thing put in the truck. Right, let's keep going we got the box in bolted up make sure that each of those bottom grommets don't fall off I put them into the tray first next we just slide this filter in and then this is really cool design that they kind of changed it, it, the lid just sits on it and it seals here and this kind of just creates the suction uh, I really like that it makes it easier to pop these four tens off and then you can just pull your air filter out to clean and oil it um, they do have a recommended interval. I always like to check it every oil change, uh, make sure it's clean. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Let's get this lid on and bolt it up to the, to the intake. We got this thing all bolted up. Man, this thing's clean. The Banks really does make uh, make it a big deal to watch this tab, and it needs to be up against this so you know that you're fully seated on that on that intake tube. Um, there's another little tab down here that lines up with the factory intake tube. Uh, you want to just make sure that's lined up, and then you're good to tighten those clamps up. So all we got left is throw this mass airflow adapter on and. I'm gonna shut the hood and make sure this Ram Air lines up good and there's no like pinches or anything. So there we go. Almost done. Let's go drive this thing. Hopefully it's louder. All right, this thing definitely does have a deeper uh, little growl to it, as you would say, or a, a drone. Uh, it sounds great so far. Let's go drive this truck and, and see what kind of performance we're getting out of it. All right, let's get this thing out on the road. It already sounds better inside this cab. That is cool. I, I get a lot of questions about adding exhaust on these newer Duramaxes and it's, it's you know, you could do like the DPF back and it doesn't really change the sound, but the intakes definitely do help with some sound. So if, if you're looking for a little bit loud, louder engine noise, definitely go with an intake first and uh, try it out. Let's see, here we go, we'll do a little full throttle here. Nice. Oh yeah, I like it. Let's turn this Derringer up. I drove it yesterday with the Derringer and I didn't realize that it resets the stock after you turn the truck off. And I was like, the power was gone. Oh yeah, that is cool. That is cool. Awesome. 
another thumbs up for Banks. Um, I highly recommend all their stuff. I mean, I, I've gotten same with the intakes. S and B is also another good maker, but Banks with the Banks uh, tuner and pedal monster. Let's see. Hey, like always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, it always helps the algorithm with these small YouTube channels. Uh, subscribe and don't miss any of my content. Thanks for watching, guys.